been a while. At least Rue is alright. Oh yeah, but they're all in collusion against you. Everyone's out to get you, Rue. Killing's the only answer. Filthy hobbits. Poor Rue. <laughs> Stab some out. <laughs> Thankfully, Dirk is looking out for us. Me? What more could I want? <laughs> the question <laughs> is, what do you want? It's pretty obvious. I'm obsessively searching for a girl. And now I'm wondering why her pendant was stained with blood. Because someone got cut and bled on it, Han. Dirk. Tell him about the Pontifex Maximus Stetzel. Yes, he can help you. He can help all of us. <laughs> Let's follow the yellow brick road to find the magical Pope. He'll give me an unlimited supply of pornographic magazines. And you, a brain. Tetzel has some pretty awesome magical artifacts, as you might expect of the Pope of the Way. Actually, before the destruction of Astrana, it was estimated that there were nearly a million wanderers. <laughs> before the destruction of Astrana, how many people were in there? 100, 200,000? But still, that's a lot of people on the way. A lot of people we haven't met. Yeah, Pope has magical quill. Quill writes down people when they're born in the Book of Eve. But presumably it only writes down their original name. In the case of Trazian, for example. I've seen the books myself! <laughs> Rue, come on, you can see the applications of this. I think it's simply a case of if he did know and it turned out that she wasn't alive, he would be pretty crushed. I mean, everything he's been gearing towards is going to be gone. The Book of Samuel? It's with Texel. <laughs> You'll have to deal with him. Great. Not so. I've heard he is in the midst of trying to quell a rebellion amongst the Kaidin. Someone has stirred them up against Texel. Sacrifer was one of the rebels, but he was overcome by loyalists of the Pontifex. Maximus. Have I mentioned how much I hate that bloody name? It's a mighty cold place, eh? If I were a betting man, and I am, I'd say he's probably there right now. Ah, uh, it's a good job you're not a betting man, Dirk. Otherwise, I'll stab you good. I'm sure as strong can be, don't worry. Actually, I'm pretty much inclined to believe Dirk on that front. Dirk is one of the most truthful people in the entire way, albeit in a very cryptic fashion. At least not in Gaius-style cryptic fashion, where cryptic stands for actually wrong in pretty much every interpretation except one. <sighs> Two Heartstones. There are some new enemies around here, uh, but we won't see them for a bit. In fact, there's going to be a lot of fighting later on, so I figure we just hold up before we uh, we show some more battles off. Because this area is pretty nondescript. Actually, I think we've seen this area somewhere before. It's still pretty nice. Anyway, I've been out for the count and also kind of busy with a number of things, so I haven't been recording. Also, my nose was completely blocked up, so all the characters sounded like they were coming across really bad tannoy systems that you get in airports or train stations. So, you know, it would be the adventures of Rune broadcast over the worst Tannoy system imaginable. If you can imagine that. I'm not even going to try. I was thinking about trying it, but no. No. Because then I'd have to, like, egg my nose, and then it would sound really awful, and my nose would feel really crap. So that's a no. I'm afraid you're going to have to leave it to your own imagination. Like a lot of things in the way, frankly. <sighs> CTPlicious, CTPlicious. Come here, come here, you Bulbasaur, whatever the hell you are. Oh, 
I guess there were things I could be equipping. Always on the lookout for chests behind these conspicuously large trees. The reason I don't like fighting these creatures is there's one of them that makes you prone. It's not as bad as one of the creatures that will come later that makes all your party confused, which is possibly one of the most dangerous battles you could end up fighting. As I said, I will go back and uh, if I don't get Scatter's special reaction, I will get that at a later date. For those of you wondering, that's a cross stone. Whew, what a forest. There we go. Bets to save our progress. Bets to Whoa! Big game out of nowhere. Is there an enemy around here? No, not for a while. Then we have like three bosses in a row for some crazy reason. Just in case you're getting bored. I see ya. Did our sword aura just go up? Yeah, I thought it did. Had Assassin's Society is gone. I want to have Illuminati. Because it is awesome and full of XL. Oh, here we are. Look at that view. Quite a climate change, here. Eh? That's why I love the way. Me too, Dirk. Me too. Somewhere over there, yes sir. <laughs> it's going to be a cold one. Cold one indeed. I could go for a cold one. So could Slade by the looks of things. He's not looking good. Don't listen. Ugh. 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 Slade is in immense pain. What was that he just said? Did that have any relation to what we said in our memories? Maybe not. Maybe he just likes speaking in abstract phrases. Oh, there must be something here that can help me. What's this? Oh, Lyra! Sugar. No. Many days later. The fortress is hidden in the mountain, eh? It won't be long now. Excuse me while I go make some special snow. <laughs> dum -de dum dum do <laughs> Yeah, is that the sort of special ski cold mask type thing? No. Yes, Scath is a superhero. Ah, Preposterous! It's for no such thing! I'm no one's prey! Oh no, you did not go there, Rue. Apologize! Apologize for that remark! Let's be moving along. We don't want to be late for our appointment, eh? Okay, that's about all for this episode of The Way. I'm glad to be back in episode 5. We are coming to the end of it and we are going to power through to all its ripe conclusion-y goodness. Should I? I? I probably shouldn't. I'll go on. No! Ciao.